object pronouns, uh, the direct object always occurs with a transitive verb. It is typically the person or thing undergoing the action. For example, in English, you hit me, the word me is the direct object. In column, the direct object is indicated as an ending suffix on the verb. The most important factor in column is whether the person doing the action, which we would call the actor, is in control of the action or not. For example, in English, I looked at it, the actor I is in control of the action. When you look at something, you don't do it on purpose. Or on the other hand, in English, I see it, the actor is not necessarily in control. When you see something, it may not be doing it. You may not be doing it on purpose, and it may be accidental. Um, where English uses two separate verbs, it shows this on purpose versus accidental idea. Column uses different verb endings in different um, object pronouns. So the ending. Uh, with a T on a verb indicates that the actor is in control and the ending with the nu suffix, the verb indicates that the actor is not in control. For example, quant and quanu. Quant, quanu. Now we'll go over our, our models. And we'll go over the Quinaui. 7.1. Oh, I got. Oh, Quinaui, Chi. Quinaui, Stan. Okay. So these are our, um, our object pronouns, are singular and plural. The object meaning, or the object ending, meaning me and you have the same form with a C. The ending that ends with a T is the control maker. If it is, if it is followed by the C that's or the t, the t is dropped. If it's followed by the C, the T is dropped. If it is followed by nothing, the object is an understood him, her, it, or them. Uh, the us suffix, English, is always stressed. Um, notice that there is no example given for he, she, it, they, help me, for he, she, it, they, help you. 
or for that. Um, a special construction is needed to translate such sentence to express a me or you object with a he, she, it, they subject. Klalem uses the passive construction. The passive is discussed in a later chapter, in chapter 31. So uh, here we'll just show the basic pattern. Quinangit. Oh, Quinangitang Zen. Quinangitang Zen. So the Zen would be me. Quinangitang Zen. He, she, it, they help me. Or Quinangitang Tzu. Quinangitang Tzu. Or he, she, it, or they help you. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at harmony.arakawa at alwa.org.